New York State will receive more than $2 billion in settlements with drug manufacturers to help fight the opioid crisis. Officials already making some of that funding available. News 10 ABC's James De La Fuente taking a closer look at how it's being used so far. Area providers that I spoke with say the allotment of funding comes at a time when they need it most. Kelly Rowe, executive director of Second Chance Opportunities, explains how she can use the money. It allows us to hire more recovery coaches. So currently we have nine recovery coaches in the building. Now she'll be able to staff four more coaches along with other things as well. Transportation coaches expanding the program that we, we currently run. She says in October they'll get a check for nearly half a million dollars. That will double her budget for the next two years. Rudy Fernandez, a recovered addict of nine years, is now a recovery coach himself. He tells me it helped him on his journey to sobriety. This is what I wish was happening to me when I was actively using. Have somebody there that I could actually identify with, you know, and that has been going through the things that I went through in life and able to guide me to get out of that cycle. Gabrielle Draper with Alliance for Positive Health deals with recovery programs in 15 New York counties. The organization is using the settlement money to equip their staff with more tools to prevent overdose deaths. This is a opioid overdose rescue kit. Um, so this is a Narcan kit. Oh. So you literally take it like so, and you'd push that red plunger right into somebody's nose. In addition to reversing the effects of an overdose, they also provide ways to detect drugs laced with deadly synthetic opioids. So this right here is a fentanyl test strip. We do also have the xylazine ones, and I always note fentanyl test strips are blue. The xylazine ones are red. So what you would do is take your powder, pills, whatever it is, mix it with a little bit of water, and then put this in it. It's just like a pH strip, and come up with a line if it's positive, two lines if it's negative. Draper says they will also be able to hire more staff. For more information on where else the money is being used, head on over to our website, news10.com. Reporting in the Capital Region, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.